Okay, so we just, our last drawing, we're just using our white charcoal pencil and black paper, adding on lighter values because our shadows are already here. Now what we're going to do is we're going to add color to this. So getting your pastels, what I'm going to do is draw the pair. This is pastel paper, the black pastel paper. And you can tell the front, some people say, well, how do you know there's empty in the difference between the front and the back of the paper? Well, the front of the paper has texture to it little bumps to hold down to the dry medium. And oftentimes the back of the paper will have a label on it or look smoother. The other way to tell on a really good paper, if you hold it up into the light, you can read the watermark from left to right. That's another way to tell the, which, what's the front of the paper versus the back of the paper. So there we go, very light lines. And now I'm just gonna go with my local color. In other words, a green pair. And all I'm doing, looking at that pair, and I'm adding light. Not like this. When the light hits that left side of the pair. Using the side of my pastel rather than the tip of it. And the reason I use the side of the pastel is I feel like um, if I use the tip of it, I really grind the pastel in the paper. By using the side of it like this, I can layer it and continue to layer it. But if I use the tip of the pastel, then it gets the paper full of the pastel and it doesn't allow me the option of layering it so much. So there's part of it. Now I'm gonna put a little context in here. Of course, this is a dark shadow, right? So I'll define the background versus the foreground here. And again, my shadows can be just the color of the paper or the value, the dark value of the paper, my shadows. There we go. Now let's add a little bit more color to this. Now my shadows can be that dark. They could be. Or I could decide to add some value here on the other side. But really, I want to be very careful I don't overstep my boundaries there. Come with some white, add some highlights in here. Maybe I add a little blush, because that pair does have a little blush, a little kind of warm, brownish blush like so. All right, there we go. There's a pair. Could I do more to it? Probably. That just covers the basics. Just using a local color and just using a minimum amount of color in the shadow. Let's see the lighter and brighter. So I'm just using local colors and the black of the paper in this particular drawing. Let's see. I need to come up slightly. All right, there we go. And again, I'm going to work this a little bit more. There we go. Okay, come in with some highlights again. The highlights also conform to the shape of the object. There's a little highlight in there for some reason. There we go. So. Next, we're going to do complementary colors on black paper.